Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain the, about the gizmo and uh, copy instance about the tool. For example, in this iPad, as you can see, it has a lot of subfolder here. For going immediately up to the iPad, you just double click on it. As you can see, you're going to iPad here. <clears throat> to activate the gizmo, to read the gizmo, you have to click on little uh, quick toolbar. Click on it. Sorry. <clears throat> click on it and you can activate the 3D gizmo. You can simply uh, click and drag and move to one axis that you want. And here you can type a number here. Be careful above the number. You have to type a little number because it because it is the di dimension measurement unit in a sim lab is on a meter. You have to, for example, if you want to 10 centimeter, you have to one point. 0 0.1 and here you can click and drag be careful you have to go exactly on that axis because click and drag is rotation and direction you can click and drag on those and these handles to rotate in any direction that you want click on it and you can type a number in a degree here if you want from exactly 90 and here, when any object, when you select any object in SimLab Composer, the tab properties will be open here. You can close it and open it from here. We have an object that uh, I explained that transform for rotating. As you can see, the 90 degrees here, you can set it zero if you want. <coughs> oh, sorry for this. You can set it to zero again if you want or set to it to all of dimension in the zero again i'll explain uh, global and local later but the global it means the transform from center of the software local means transform from center of that object it's very simple here you can change the uh, size of the but by click and drag on the little in this dot from the center of that axis but if you want to scale in any direction x y z or if you want uniform scale that means you click on this direction i explain a pivot in a separate lesson in object here you can hide and unhide the 3d gizmo this is an uh, a snap to object in a move i will explain more but it's very simple for example, you click here and click on snap to object and click anywhere that you want to snap that object. As you can see, that object will be a snap to that position that you want. For example, it's snapping here, it's completely go there. Or for example, you want to snap it there. You can simply align the object anywhere that you want. It's very nice. Here. Another tool is copy. You can select it and you can click and drag to copy object. You can control C and then control V and copy the object. And here you can change the four base material uh, on an object. For example, we have a glass material. We have uh, matte material. This means no material if you want. Metal material and plastic material. For example, and glass material you can choose any glass here it changed the material of the object not a texture and you can hit f4 and beautiful render for example on this part it has a texture when you click that part another tab will be appear here in the material it's very interesting and easy in a simlam composer here we have a texture but Beside the texture, you can assign the material that you want. Glass or, for example, a mirror glass. We have on three main uh, material here. Rubble plane, shiny. You can change the, can change the, for example, a dark or mirror or light glass here. As you can see, the texture is on it and the material will be changed, not the texture. If you want to delete the texture, you have to go in and do it. As you can see, it's very interesting. It's a 
textured glass material. That's it. This is a uh, quick tool. You can uh, snap, copy, and change the material of the object that you want immediately. Okay. When you select an object, in object, here we have, we can change the name of in a hierarchy in a scene a browser. Here you can copy, and here we have a make an instance. Instance is uh, like a copy, and here you can uh, click and drag to move the object to with two axes here. Uh, in another instance, there are instances of each other. It means if you change, for example, the material of one of them, it will automatically change the R material. For example, you give um, this material to one of them because they are connected to each other, all of the material will be changed. But not move or size or anything, just material. This is an instance. This is an isolate. If you want to isolate that, you can select it and isolate it. Let me see. As you can see, all of the objects will be uh, disappear. If you want to bring all the objects back, unisolated again. Here you can hide that object. As you can see, this icon will be appear in a scene browser. Or if you want to, for example, uh, holding control to sele uh, select all of them as you can see we have not any object you have to select one object to bring that properties here you can lock it if you lock it it does not you cannot change it you cannot select it and you have to find it and unlock it again as you can see all of that copies come in one folder all of that in one folder you can bring click and drag and bring them out of that folder that you want or here if you select the folder we have a transfer tab we have an object tab not material you can copy uh, instance whole folder isolate whole folder hide whole folder and lock all of them at once this is a benefit of the folder you can control many objects inside that because of that the simlab composer copy any object in its folder and it's very useful i'll explain more object uh, actions very interesting and easy i explain transform in a move here you can escape select none transform shortcut two global transform shortcut three and in next lesson i explain snaps with the align object and the pivot tool Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.